Ah, there you go. Welcome to the feed feed. It's funny. I can't cancel the opening theme. I'm trying to cancel the opening theme. Okay, good. Nice fade, huh? Nope, it's back. Goddamn opening theme. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna talk about salads. Because I went through a period uh, where I really felt like my salad was not up to ga uh, up to scratch. The dressing was boring. The it salad was, was too limp. bitter. It was too bitter. It was too gar. It was. It just was depressing. You don't want your so, hot date to get all squish face. Squish face. Like you know, you know the lemon. Squish. Oh, the lemon face. Yeah, lemon <laughs> face. But um, hey, camera lady, how's it going? I'm good. Good to have you with us. <laughs> I guess we wouldn't be on air if it wasn't for camera lady. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so I decided to do some research and I, and I, and I, and I, what I wanted to do is to try and find a new vinaigrette and to try and improve my salad. Because sometimes you'd go to a restaurant and you'd have a salad and you'd go, wow, that's really good. I want to make a salad like that. So I'm going to give you a couple little tips today and I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, a beautiful vinaigrette that I had nothing to do with. I just read it in a book. Um, but I'm going to impart this vinaigrette to you. We'll start with the vinaigrette and we'll build it from there. So vinaigrette, French vinaigrette, is really basic. It's got mustard in it, it's got salt, it's got garlic. Some of them have sh scallions or uh, shallots. Um, and it's got oil and, uh, and pepper and vinegar. That's, that's all it has. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the beloved Gabriel Hamilton's recipe from Prune. You're a fan. I am a fan. G Gabriel Hamilton uh, has provided me with many wonderful recipes and she's a great storyteller yes. and in fact is responsible for the most the most whiplash the most literary whiplash I've ever gotten my whole life because her first book which is right here this is called uh, her first book is Blood Butter uh, Blood Bones and Butter and this is her second book Croon but in her first book she talks about meeting this guy. He was Italian. They fell in love. She moved to Italy. She met her Italian mother-in-law, Italian mother-in-law taught her how to cook. And then I read the opening of this book and she says, so then my wife and I bought a restaurant. I'm like, what? What? Wife? What? Anyway, so things had changed and all good, and, but, but it was just a really literary whiplash. So Gabrielle Hamilton is, is, is a wonderful chef in New York. Uh, she writes for the New York Times, which is where we get a lot of her recipes from. And, uh, we're going to uh, do her uh, vinaigrette. I saw her make the vinaigrette recently on the New York Times website, and she was like so embarrassed to be making a vinaigrette and having somebody fuss over it, because they were basically saying, she was basically saying, look, it's a vinaigrette, it's no big deal. Okay, <laughs> so what we're gonna do here, garlic. Friends, you remember what we do with the garlic, right? We take the rib out so that it's not See, there's the rib. Are we good on the rib? There we go. Beautiful. So the rib is out. We have two garlics and we have salt. Now, I had to adapt Gabrielle's recipe because Gabrielle's recipe made so much dressing that you had to have a restaurant in order to uh, accommodate all of this. So first it's, batch, we had it for months. Months, right. So what we're gonna do here is uh, salt. We put the garlic in the in the uh, Cuisinart, and then we are going to put salt. So we're going to put one and a half teaspoons. So I'm going to say that that is probably one and a half teaspoons. Okay. And then we are going to grind up the garlic and the, the salt together. It makes a lovely paste like that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the mustard. In this case, we're adding an eighth of a cup of mustard, which is way more mustard than I used to add to my vinaigrettes. Oh, camera lady, you're doing double duty. You are sous chef and camera lady. And prop. Yes. I'm very prop. You're very prop. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Alors, euh, c'est une vinaigrette euh, oui. française. Une vinaigrette française. Une vinaigrette française. Alors, il faut française. parler à la française un petit peu, là. Un peu, oui. C'est voilà. parce que nous Ma avons beaucoup, beaucoup d'amis 
Francophone. Bon, alors. So, this is the thing that kind of surprised me. Is she used a lot more mustard than I would have thought was used in a French vinaigrette. So now we're going to mix this up. And then we're going to add over here. We're going to add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Okay? So red wine vinegar. We're going to add a quarter cup. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to add a cup and a quarter of a, what she calls a neutral oil. A neutral oil would be like a peanut oil, or it could be possibly uh, like a, a, safla, a sunflower seed oil or something like that. So we're going to add it slowly in a stream. Okay. And then, one of the things that we're going to do that will really surprise you, I think, because it certainly surprised me, is we're going to add a little bit of water. And look at the water. And add a teaspoon of water. Cold water. That's it, huh? That's it. What does the water do? It opens it up. Well, no, it takes the edge off of the garlic. You know how that garlic can often have a kind of too sharp, you've got too much garlic? Well, that's what the, that's what the water does. Okay. So we've got a really straight ahead, basic uh, French vinaigrette. I'll put the recipe wherever we upload this. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other tricks. This is camera lady came up with this the other day. And it was quite surprising. Oh, see this? We use these, these from Office Depot <laughs> to close our bags. We always reuse our bags. So this is a bag that something else came in. We wash it, clean it, and dry it. But this is what camera lady did. She, she washes the lettuce. Spins it dry, ready, ready, and then puts it, it in a bag with paper towels. And it gets so crisp and so fresh, and it stands up on the plate. And, and just, it's ready. And it's ready. So, so <laughs> your prep time, when it comes time to doing a salad, is so much less. Okay? So we're going to do this like that. Now, there's something else that we've been doing lately. So we've been going to some of the Asian markets. And we've been buying different kinds of, uh, of uh, greens. This green is actually called Tung Ho. And Tung Ho is garland, garland chrysanthemum, chrys, chrysanthemum, which is from the, wow. from the Mediterranean area. I tried to say area. that a few, few, few times in a row. It's got a very, very no. unique flavor. Give me one of those. Oh, here, you should have a little bit of this. There. Something with... The it's got a really, it's like a cross between arugula and mm. lemongrass, I would say. So we're going to just throw a little, a little bit of those. Thing, yeah. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. A little bit of perfume in there. Then we're going to take uh, some fresh chives. As I've told you guys before, chives are my favorite herb. If I was only allowed one herb in the kitchen, it would be chives. We're going to mix that in like that. Okay. And in this particular salad, we are also going to put, we bought a fresh fig the other day at the market. They're so beautiful, fresh figs. Look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? I and didn't then have just, time, but you're going too fast. Oh, you didn't have time to see the fresh fig? We, we, we all didn't have time. <laughs> yeah, it's not just you. So that's the oh, fresh fig, isn't that beautiful? Oh, fig, j'adore. Beautiful, so we're gonna put that in, okay? And then, look at that. That lettuce is standing up beautifully, okay? And then what we're going to do, is we're going to put a little bit of arugula in for some, not arugula, radicchio in for some color. Okay, that was all washed in advance as well, like that. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. And then, very simply, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of lemon on top like that. That always makes for a nice, take the seeds out. It just brings it up a little bit, okay? 
in flavor. And then, and then this we'll is do the, the dressing. part. We're gonna put some dressing on it, but what else we're gonna do? Come over here, Kimberly. So we did. Do we really have to show uh, we put the inside of the, our the intimacy of our of our <laughs> freezer? I put two two plates in the uh, freezer to make them nice and chilled. Okay. Then I put that there. I'm gonna take a little bit of the salad dressing, and I was told for some reason that you're not supposed to put it actually on the lettuce. You're supposed to put it around the outside of the bowl like that. Okay. Then we're going to mix it up. I guess we're having nose now, huh? We are. We're going to mix it up like that. Now, this is another controversy in our family, which I will tell you about. <laughs> Camera lady is a French person. I'm a French person. And the French people, they like to have the salad at the end of the meal. It's, it's Agnès who but, taught me that. <clears throat> I'm American. I have my salad before the meal. That's the oh, way you're supposed to... No, you're supposed to eat your not like the French people. C'est parce qu'une salade c'est pour digérer. It's to digest. No, it's to have a fight over. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this and we've mixed it up beautifully like that. Put it in here. Now this is really really useless and pretentious. Yep. Right? You want to see the way that's this is the way you want to do it. Useless <laughs> and pretentious. So You're you really that... good at that, babe. Thank no. you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to put a little bit more uh, of that on there. We're, so we're trying to get her to stand up. Maybe we'll put like a little bit more in there just to pack it in just a little bit more. As long as you Make it a little bit tight. For the second plate, you're good okay. to go. And then we're going to lift it off. Oh. And... Oh. And we're just going to touch it up a little bit, right? Because we want to make it look nice when it gets to the plate. And the plate's cold. There you go. A little bit more pepper. And there you go. Voila. Voila. Une belle salade. You'll be happy with that. Bon appétit. Out.